today ahead of the Poor People's Campaign's Moral March on Washington taking yeah. place this Saturday here in D.C. Uh, Reverend Barber, remind viewers what the, the Poor People's Campaign is and what you're marching for. Well, we have tens of thousands of people, already over 500 buses alone, coming to the Mass Poor People's Low Wage Workers Assembly Moral March on Washington and to the polls. And what the Poor People's Campaign is saying, whether it's people from Appalachia or Alabama, or Massachusetts or Mississippi, that we cannot have a country where we have 140 million people living in poverty and low wealth. Uh, over 60.9% of black people, 30% of white people, but that's 66 million white people, and I could go on with the numbers, 52% of our children, 43% of adults. When we're the wealthiest nation in the country, if we just raise the minimum wage to a living wage of $15, 32 million people would immediately rise up out of poverty, frontline people. Uh, we've got 87 million people either uninsured or underinsured. And all of this also creates a level of death. You know, 700 people were dying a day from poverty before the pandemic, quarter million people a year. The pandemic exposed the fissures of poverty. We put essential workers on the front line, but we treated them like they were expendable. So our campaign is saying, let's get a real count on what poverty really is in this country and low wealth. Let's um, uh, stop the lies about scarcity. Let's have the, uh, the wealthy pay their fair share. You know, billionaires made two trillion dollars during the pandemic while eight million more people fell into poverty. And let's do the things that make sense. They're not even radical. Universal health care. Uh, living wages for people who are working. Let's do what is right by all the people and change this.